Hey, good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com, and it is Monday, June 1st. I want to look at GoPro today. The reason is because for the first time in the history of GoPro's trading, um, the stock is trading above the 200-day moving average. That's like a huge thing. It's amazing, right? Well, not really. Um, only start, it had only been trading 200 days um, less than two months ago. Okay, on the 13th was the 200th day, which is why you just see this line here. Here's why this is important, um, because the stock traded higher on Friday on really strong volume and didn't quite make it through, right? Okay, the, the big volume spikes typically have been um, in the green. The red ones, when the stock is on the way down, okay, that reflects, you know, institutional selling, high volume selling, okay? But now, since the stock has started to run up, look at this, you know, you've got a little higher than average there, you know, uh, you get the point. You get one big volume spike here on a down day, and then ultimately the stock turns around and trades back above that. So, and the reason for all this buying today was, aside from the fact that the stock had been moving up anyway, was that they're, they've got a new, like an entry level camera, which, hey, might be good for me. Um, so when I walk on my walker, people can get a, a virtual reality view of that as I wear it on the top of my helmet. But um, so they're going to be selling an entry level camera, which is, um, I'd say, is a plus for the company because China's been kicking this company's butt with that entry level camera that's even more entry level than this new one. So watch this stock. At 60 bucks, which was the close to the high here, um, that's a critical level for this stock. So it needs to stay above the 50-day, excuse me, the 200-day moving average. Um, that's when you want to be a believer. If the stock does happen to pull back, then here's what you want to do: you want to just use this trend line as your reference. So the further along in time the stock goes before it pulls back, then the higher this price will go. But you want to use this trend line as your reference for when you're going to buy on a pullback. Amberella reports earnings after the bell tomorrow. Just remember, GoPro is Amberella's customer, not the other way around. So they will, what they report, you know, will impact GoPro's stock price because the two are seen as trading together. Um, but again, it's Amberella reporting on um, what the business is that they've been doing with GoPro, but we have a pretty good indication of what GoPro is doing already. So anyway, um, that's it for this um, chart of the day. Members over to the strategy session, and uh, we'll look at some stocks there.